good morning children children we are going to start a new chapter chapter number 14 that is data handling so children first of all we must know what is the meaning of this data word children data is a collection of numbers or facts to convey some information suppose children in our school we have the records of all of our children isn't it but that is the raw data now when we arrange your records according to your class according to your section then it gives us a very information record this is called data okay now what is the word data handling data handling is the process of gathering recording and presenting information in a way that is helpful to analyze the thing now children there are different ways of data handling the types of data handling are like pictograph when we represent the data in the form of pictures or your bar graph when we represent the data using this bars etc like line graph and all you will learn about different types in your higher classes children when pictures are used to represent the data it is called pictograph okay this is an example of a pictograph here the data is represented in the form of pictures you can see here children example is given suppose papa monkey chimpo and its family collected some bananas now the following pictograph shows number of bananas collected by each member of the family now children you can see here papa monkey has collected these many bananas and here we have used pictures now children here key is given this six bananas means six bananas and this three bananas pictures means three bananas so papa monkey has collected these many bananas mama monkey has collected these many baby one monkey these many bananas and baby two monkey these many bananas now children you have to find out this pictures you have to convert into numbers so papa monkey collected how many bananas here is the group of 6 6 6 so 3 times 6 so you write here 3 into 6 that is 18 bananas now mama monkey has collected 3 times 6 plus this 3 bananas so 3 into 6 plus 3 that is your 18 plus 3 21 bananas now baby one monkey and baby two monkeys so here children baby one has collected 2 into 6 that is 12 and baby two 2 into 6 12 plus 3 15 so here 12 plus 15 means 27 bananas so here children the data is represented in the form of pictograph and we can convert into numbers okay we can get the data into numbers now children moving to the warm up exercise it will be more clear with this turn your page open your page number 222 first question is our true false representation of data using symbols pictures or icons is called an icon graph it is false children because we call it pictograph so right here false data is a collection of numbers or facts to give some information yes it is the definition of the data it is correct right here true now children moving to question number 2 use the following pictograph to answer the questions that follow so here children you can see pictograph is given so here one side we can see months are given four months and here the number of smart watches sold in the first four months are given but here numbers are not given children it is showing using the yes this keyword so children you can see this rectangle represents 150 smart watches and this is small rectangle this is square represents your 75 smart watches now children moving to question number a 
how many smart watches are sold in each of the first 4 months of the year so first of all we will calculate for january for january children we can see here this rectangles are how many times 4 times so we will do 4 multiplied by yes 150 because one rectangle represents 150 smart watches so 4 into 150 plus this is square that is 75 smart watches so we will do this in our copy here january equals to 4 times 150 plus 75 square for smart watches so calculate it 600 plus 75 that is 675 smart watches sold in the month of january now moving to month of february children look at here in the month of february only four rectangles are there that means four multiplied by 150 because each rectangle represent 150 smart watches so 4 into 150 so we will do it here 4 into 150 that is your 600 smart watches sold in the month of february now moving for march for the month of march you can see there are five rectangles so again 5 multiplied by 150 so right here 5 multiplied by 150 that is 750 smart watches sold in the month of march for april children you can see three times rectangle so 3 into 150 and one time this is square that means plus 75 so do it here 3 times 150 plus 75 so here 450 plus 75 that is 525 smart watches sold in the month of april now children moving to question number b how many total numbers of smart watches were sold so you have to find total number of smart watches sold so children we are writing here total smart watches sold so you just add sold in the month of january in the month of february in the month of march and april so you add all these four numbers okay so you are adding 675 plus 600 plus 750 plus 525 so all total we are getting 2550 smart watches sold now children question number c find the difference of a smart watches sold in january and march so children smart watches sold in the month of january that is 675 and in the month of march that is 750 so you have to find the difference so to find the difference we will do subtraction subtract these two so there are 75 smart watches sold more isn't it in the month of march okay I hope you understood children. Moving to question number 3. Draw a pictograph for the information given below in the table. So children information is given and you have to draw this kind of pictograph. Okay. So children here number of pastries sold on Sunday in a pastry shop. Time is given between 10 to 12 noon. 150 pastries were sold. 12 noon to 4 p.m. 200 pastries were sold and now 4 pm to 9 pm 450 pastries were sold so you have to show this into a pictograph so let's start children so children one side you write here time and here this side you write number of pastries okay and now children the first time is 10 am to 12 noon you can see 10 am to 12 noon now here it is 150. So it's not possible to draw 150 figures. So we take a key. So children, we have to think about a number which is, yes, which will divide all these numbers. So here we have 150, 200 and 450. So I am taking a number here, 50. The key, that is, one figure means 50 pastries. Because 50 will divide this 150 also, this 200 also and it will divide 450 also. 
so children when we divide this 150 by 50 so we are getting here yes on division we are getting 3 means you have to draw here only 3 figures so suppose children I have taken this keyword rectangle and it represents your 50 pastries so for to represent 150 we will draw only 3 rectangles so I am drawing here 3. You try to draw it of the same size. Now from 12 noon to 4 pm we have 200 pastries. So from 12 noon to 4 pm 200 pastries divided by 50. So we are getting here 4. So children we will not draw 200 figures. We will draw only 4 rectangles of same size. Now from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. we have 450 pastries. So 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Here 450 you have to represent. So you divide it by 50. We are getting 9. So children we will draw only 9 rectangles. So here I have drawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So children this is our pictograph. And here you have to mention the key. That is each rectangle represent 50 pastries and this number of this uh, rectangles you will find by division. Okay, divide this number by your key. Here I have taken 50 pastries now. So I will divide it by 50, divide it by 50, divide it by 50 and children you have to take the number which is uh, which will divide each of these numbers. Okay. So children, it will be more clear when we will do the next questions. So this is a pictograph. So children, now it's time for your home assignment. You solve the warm-up exercise page 222 in your classwork copy. I will send this. You just note down and try to understand. In case of any confusion, you can uh, message me or you can whatsapp thank you children have a nice day